good morning students in uh, last class we have studied the population explosion and also we have discussed uh, the population the measures of a population control next we are going into the next topic uh, that the next topic is uh, a birth control methods birth control or otherwise we can call them as a contraceptive contraceptive methods so here in this topic we will study the a birth control or a contraceptive method here a contraceptive means it help for the preventing of the pregnancy so here the contraceptive here two words are present in the difference between the contraceptive as well as the conception conception so here contraceptive means here preventing of preventing preventing of preventing of a pregnancy preventing of pregnancy we can call as a contraceptive method or you can call a contraception contraception means it help for the preventing the pregnancy so here it may be either due to sexual activities or otherwise here it may be able to the gap between from one child to the another child here these methods are taken place that is a contraceptive methods and second one is a conception what is a conception means the attaining of attaining attaining of attaining of a pregnancy attaining of a a pregnancy we can call as a conception conception means the producing of a pregnancy we can use the word as a conception and you know no preventing that means not attaining of a pregnancy then such condition we can call as a contraceptive methods so we are going the preventing of the pregnancy is now you are going a contraceptive methods that is how to prevent the a pregnancy that will be taken place in this topic or otherwise we can use the word as a birth control methods or birth means you are not attain the pregnancy that means how to control the child from the gap between from one child to the another a child that we can call as a birth control so here this we now will go discussing this option concept that is a birth control and the contraceptive methods now here a birth control methods are otherwise we can call them as a contraceptive methods but in a 21 century in a 21 century here how we can able to producing in 21 century we are able to producing a, a family planning method family planning family planning methods here family planning methods means it is a gap to produce a gap from the one child to the another the child we can call as a family planning methods this family planning is produced more it is more advanced in a 21st century in a 21st century here it can be able to produce a so that here it can be able to produce the gap between one child to the another child so that the gap should be maintained that will maintain by a family planning methods so here already we have discussed here the population is increased 
here there are uh, several reasons to increase the population. So to reduce the rate of a population, a government must take taken uh, steps. The steps we can call as a uh, family planning uh, methods. So here uh, coming to the uh, birth control or a uh, contraception. What is this birth control or a uh, contraception means? Uh, Here it can be defined as it can be it can be a defined it can be defined as a, a voluntary voluntary or delivery 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 the prevention of the prevention of Prevention of a pregnancy, pregnancy after after sexual after the sexual activity, after the sexual activity or after the sexual interaction. Here it helpful for the preventing of the a pregnancy. That means here it should not help for the producing of a pregnancy. So such condition it can be defined as a birth control. That means here the prevention of a pregnancy should not attain a pregnancy. The pregnancy should not be producing. That is the main an aspect where we can control. It takes place in a birth control or a contraceptive methods. So here in this a birth control here in 21st century already said in 21st century in a 21st century here it is produced the family planning methods. Family planning, family planning methods. Family planning. So the family planning means here to produce the rate of the small families, not the large families. So here the gap should be maintained from a one child to the another child. We can take a place in a family planning methods. This family planning methods or a birth control methods here it is also called as the spacing methods. Spacing methods. It is also called as the spacing method. That means the birth control methods or the contraceptive methods or otherwise it is also called as the spacing method or the we can call as the spacing method. Why means in the name only indicating a space. Means a gap. The gap should be maintained from a one child to the another child, so that this birth control methods is also called as the spacing methods also. And here there are three ways. The spacing methods are the birth control methods are maintained by the three ways. Birth control methods. Birth control, birth control methods are obtained by the a three ways. We can be able to prevent by the a three ways. What are the three ways? Means first one is it preventing. It prevents preventing. It preventing. The preventing the fusion of the preventing the fusion of fusion of the sperm and the sperm and the ovum. See the preventing the fusion of the sperm and the ovum. Second one it prevents the fertilization. It prevents, it prevents the fertilization.
Nächste tolle Wand mit Provenza. Die Provenz. Die Provenza, die Embryo. Die Provenz, die Embryo. Die Embryo from, from Implantation. From Implantation in the Ibrahs. Including uterus. Uterus. It helps to further the preventing of uh, the uterus. So these are the uh, three possible ways to prevent uh, the rate of uh, a birth control or a contraceptive methods. One is it helps for the fusion of that means it has to not be fuses with the, the egg and sperm should not be contact with it. otherwise it prevents the contaction, the contact of the sperm and the ovum or a fusion. It should not be take a fusion with the sperm and ovum. Otherwise when it is fuses here it should not be taken place, it prevents the fertilization. When fertilization is also taken place, last step is to prevent uh, that is uh, the embryo which is uh, presenting uh, that embryo should not be an implanted. Already, already all discussed uh, the implantation. Implantation means uh, the attachment of uh, a blastocyst to the uterinal um, walls of the uh, endometrium. That means in the endometrium uh, that uh, embryo should be embodied. Embodied means they should be attached. Uh, to the an endometrium, then only it leads to the a pregnancy. If it is not implanted here, it cannot be able to produce a pregnancy. Then we can say that is a, a near miss of a, a pregnancy. So these are the uh, three ways where it prevents uh, the methods of uh, the controller, the controlling of the controlling uh, a methods. Next, coming to the, there are, there are three types of methods are there to control the birth, birth control are a contraceptive methods. Classified into a three. 
three types. One is a rhythmic method. Rhythmic method. That is the next one is Pythagoras interpretation of inter inter interruption interruption of Pythagoras. Pythagoras are applied. You can use the word as a pull out method also. It is also called as a, a pull out a method also. And the third one is the third one is lactational lactational ye mono rahe. So these are the uh, three methods where they are present in uh, a natural and uh, a physiological uh, methods. Next, uh, some of the uh, temporary methods. Here temporary methods are also classified into uh, three types. First one is uh, condoms. Second one is uh, barriers. And the third one is IUDS. Here, first one is the condoms, second one is the barriers, and the third one is IUDS. IUDS means intra uterinal devices that we will discuss later. What are the details? And uh, here, the permanent methods, the permanent means they are fixed. So, that fixed are one, there are two types, again, these are also so, and two types are there. One you can call as a Vasectomy, vasectomy, and the second one is a cubectomy. Cubectomy. Here yeah, one is called as vasectomy, and second one we can call as a cubectomy. So these are the two permanent methods. So what are these? That is a three. One is a natural method, a temporary method, and a, a permanent method. So, what are that? Now, we'll discuss uh, the one by the one. Now, coming to the, the first one, that is uh, a natural method. only helpful for the preventing of a pregnancy. 
So these methods we can call as a natural methods or otherwise you can call them as a physiological methods. So in this first one is a rhythm, automatic method. Rhythmic method. Here, rhythmic method will be maintained by the anamensural receptacle. This will be maintained by a normal humans which are obtaining a regular, regular menstrual cycle which are obtaining. Here, a regular, it should be taken place a regular menstrual cycle. The moments which are present in there should be having a regular a menstrual cycle should be taken place in the so in these moments it can help for the preventing of a pregnancy. And also here we have to know the cycle of the, the cycle of a menstrual cycle. And in this method, the first one is here. First, we are in next place one to five days. The first, the starting of the menstrual cycle, where it takes place, that is first one to the fifth cycle. That means one to five days. First day to the fifth day, here we can call this as a bleeding stage. A bleeding stage. So here already we have studied in the menstrual the cycle. Here the bleeding means here the waste material, the debris along with a blade which are present in the lining of endometrium. The walls, the thickened walls of endometrium are shedding over where due to the uh, shedding over here a bleeding will be taken place that is uh, the flowing of uh, the blood. That means uh, blood will move this outside along with the unfertilized egg and also the lining of endometrial walls with a blood. So we can call that as a bleeding stage. And next from the sixth to here a sixth to tenth day. Here we can we can say as a, a safe safe period. Safe a period. We can call as safe period means here we can able to sexual sexual an activity can be taken place from a sixth to a tenth day. Here the sexual period will be taken place so that here it cannot be able to a produce a pregnancy. So that here we can call as a, a safe a period. Next, from 11th day to the 20th day, here we can call as a, a unsafe, we can call as a, a unsafe period. We can call as a, a unsafe period. Why means here why you can call as unsafe period means on the, the 14th day, on the 14th day, here the ovulation, here the ovulation is taken place. That means on the 14th day of the a menstrual cycle, the ovulation is taken place. That is, here egg is released on the 14th day, where here FSH and LH hormones are presenting at a peak level. Due to the peak level on the 14th day, here yeah, the ovulation is taken place. So that the egg is released, the egg which is produced, the egg, the lifespan is at 24 hours. At 24 hours and the sperms, the sperms is, the lifespan is at 48, sorry, 40, sorry, 48 hours. The lifespan is at 48 hours. That means egg lifespan is 24 hours and the sperm lifespan is 48 hours so that it helps for the fusion of the male and the female. So that we are in this period if sexual interaction or sexual activities are taken place here it may lead to the a pregnancy. So that here we can call this as unsafe period that means it is not safe. Here, from here it can able to produce a pregnancy. So that here we can call as a, a unsafe period. And next, the last one, that is 
from 21st to the 28th days, again it is a safe period. A safe one. period. That means here we cannot be able to produce the appetency. Why means here already on the 14th day, I did really. So here last time is only 24 hours. So that here when it is not fertilized, so that it cannot be able to produce. So that here this in this also that when from first to first to the 28th day here we can call as a period so that here sexual interaction or, or sexual activity can be taken place so that it cannot be able to produce a pregnancy. So this method we can call as a arithmetic method, arithmetic method where by knowing the menstrual cycle. The, if you know the menstrual cycle, that is, this will be taken place only in a regular menstrual cycle women only, this will be taken place. When it is irregular, here we cannot be able to produce, it cannot be able to say, why means here irregular will lead to the a pregnancy. When it is regular, by these methods, take these steps, here we can be able to control a pregnancy or a prevention of a a pregnancy can be taken place by the method of arithmetic method and also we have to know the a menstrual cycle from where it is started and where it is ended. We have to know the menstrual cycle that is then only we can be able to know to prevent the a pregnancy. That is the first method that is arithmetic method. Next, coming to the Second one, I mean to the, the second one, second one is the pointers, pointers interpretation interruption, pointers, interruption or we can call as a pull out method, pull out a method. That means here pointers, that means we are after sexual interaction, that is during a sexual and interaction, here the removing of, the removing or removal of the removal of the removal of the penis, removal of penis from the from the vagina, vagina of female, a female genitals. So yeah, the penis should be removed from where during a, a sexual interaction. Before the releasing of semen into the uh, vagina, here the penis should be a uh, withdrawal. When penis is withdrawing uh, from the vagina, so that uh, here uh, the uh, sperms cannot uh, enter into the vagina, so that it helpful for uh, the preventing of uh, a pregnancy. But during sexual interaction, here sometimes during sexual interaction, here some amount of semen can be able to introduce into the uh, vagina and also here most of the couples, this type of method cannot be an, uh, taken place. I mean during sexual interaction, uh, here uh, the both are analyzing so that here uh, can, uh, this method can be able to remember. So that here, this method, most probably this cannot be able to taken place during the prevention of a pregnancy. That is, removal of a penis from the evasion of the female genitals. So that is, releasing of semen, before releasing of semen into the evasion, here we have to withdraw or we have to remove the penis. So that here it cannot be able, it can prevent being the a pregnancy. This method we can call as a pointer's interpretation, or otherwise a pointer's interpretation, or we can call as a pull out method. Pull means uh, taking outside. Pull means whatever the penis is inserted into vagina, we are removing, we are giving, we are taking place outside the penis. 
so that this method we can call as a pull out a method. This is the second type that is a quietus and interaction. And the third one, the third one is a lactational, 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 ye monorho. Lactational a monorhe. Here in the name only indicating. In the name only indicating here. Ye means absent. Monorhe means menstrual cycle. So here the menstrual cycle is absenting in the elastational moments. That means after the deliberation of baby. Here, lactation means feeding of egg ones with the a mother's milk. So here, the women's, in the lactation of women, that means after deliberation of baby, the mothers which are presenting, here, in that mothers, here, the menstrual cycle is a stop. The menstrual cycle is a absenting. Temporarily, it is an absenting where during lactational period. So, in this time, when it is taken place, here the sexual interaction is taken place, here a pregnancy cannot be able to produce. It suppresses the ovulation. During the suppression of ovulation, in the lactational women, here lactational women, that is here the absence of, absence of menstrual cycle, the absence of the menstrual cycle, menstrual cycle in a lactational, in a lactational women's, lactational women's which suppress, which suppress, which suppress, suppresses the ovulation. That means the ovulation is not being taken place. So that here this method during this time, that means here this time will be taken place after deliberation, after deliberation to the up to the six months. Here up to the six months here the period will not be that means here pregnancy cannot be produced by means here the ovulation is suppressed. That means menstrual cycle is absenting. So that here, after the deliberation to the six months, here a pregnancy cannot be a produces. So that this condition we can call as a, a lactational A monorahe. Monorahe means a menstrual cycle. A means absent in the absence of menstrual cycle in the lactational. A woman is there up to a six months here the suppression of ovil is taken place. So this method we can call as a lactational A monorahe. So these are the three methods where it takes place in the natural or the physiological methods. One is the rhythmic method, knowing about the menstrual cycle. And second one is a coitus interaction or pull out method where to remove the penis from the vagina during sexual interaction before it, the semen is releasing. And last one is a lactational a monorahe where menstrual cycle is absenting in the lactational women up to a six months where here the suppression of ovule is taken place so that here the pregnancy is not produced up to the up to the pregnancy is not produced up to the uh, six months. Once uh, the menstrual cycle is produced after lactation, once uh, the menstrual cycle is returns means uh, here it may lead to the uh, pregnancy. That means before uh, six months uh, here it cannot be able to produce uh, the menstrual cycle. Later it also far the producing. Once the menstrual cycle is uh, presenting, uh, it leads to the pregnancy. So these are the uh, three methods and uh, remaining uh, two methods that is the temporary methods and permanent methods uh, that we will discuss in the uh, next uh, class.